I'd like to welcome everyone to this special Channel 19 broadcast. As you know, Ms. Tori Shinkowitz is a senior here at Sterling High School, and she participates in many activities. And today, we're going to honor her with her signing to Long Island University, where she'll actually play two sports. And again, congratulations, Tori, and to her family. Mr. Shan? Tori, why don't you tell us a little bit about your scholarship and about Long Island University? Okay. Um, well, I received a half scholarship from across and half from soccer. And uh, Long Island University is in Brooklyn. It's in the city. It's pretty close to Manhattan, and it's a great location, and I love it. And um, in going to school there, what do you plan on majoring in? And uh, do you know anything about your coaches and teammates? Well, I was thinking about nursing. I'm still debating, but um, nursing seems to be the way to go right now. And um, I love the coaches. They're really cool. The teammates are really nice. When I went on my visit, I met them. and. Um, they were all really good girls, and they're all from different places. I have a few from England, a few from Japan and California, all different places. So it's a very diverse team. Very good. Now, with um, you know, we try to encourage most of our student athletes here to be multi-sport athletes. Uh, not only do you play soccer and lacrosse, but you also play basketball. Is it a challenge for you to play? you know, different sports during different seasons, or is that something you look forward to the change from season to season? I think it's something I look forward to, and it's good for you to play different sports like that because you're working with different muscles and um, coaches love when you play multiple sports especially college coaches they love that about their recruits that they play multiple sports so. now do you think have they discussed how they're going to share you as an athlete is that something you have to have th planned out before you actually get up there and get going Cause it's kind of unique to have a split scholarship like that yeah, well, I'll be with soccer when soccer is starting, so I'll be there for preseason up until the season ends, and then I'll go right into lacrosse because they start winter workouts. And then they're already in fall ball. I'll miss that because of soccer, and then I'll just jump right in for winter. Okay, and how about if we take a minute, we'll talk to some of our coaches here. Uh, first off, Miss uh, Emily Caracciolo is our girls' soccer coach, and I know that Tori's had an impact on soccer. Why don't you speak to her impact on the soccer team, Coach? Um, I've had the pleasure of coaching Tori for three years, and her impact on the, on the soccer field with her teammates. Um, coaching her it has been tremendous. Uh, she's a true asset to the team and to the Sterling community. Um, she's accolades, she's had uh, three years of all conference um, accolades. Um, she's been recognized in South Jersey. All the coaches know about her players wise, um, which I know is gonna translate to a very successful college career. Okay, and uh, Tori, before we, we're going to go to Miss Claiborne in a minute, but before we do that, at what point in your soccer and lacrosse careers did you think that you might want to pursue these sports in college? Was it an early on thing, or is it something that came about you know, late in your high school career? Well, I always wanted to play uh, soccer in college. That was something I had planned for a very long time, and then it wasn't until I got very serious about lacrosse that I considered playing either lacrosse or soccer and or both. So, okay. yeah. And how about we go to Mrs. Claiborne right now, talk about Tori's impact on the lacrosse program. Okay, first I'd like to congratulate Tori. Um, she's very deserving of this. She not only is an incredibly talented athlete, but she works extremely hard to um, achieve what she does. Tori's had an incredible uh, impact on the lacrosse team. Um, it's a fairly newer program, and um, having Tori has just you know, opened the program up a ton and, and really encouraged other girls to come out and, and really made our program grow. Tori's been a top scorer in South Jersey every year that she's played. She was a top scorer, a top 10 in the state last year um, as far as scoring. And she's a midfielder, so she's also a top defender in the state. So it makes her pretty, pretty dangerous on the field. All right, great. And what do you think about her chances in college? She's going to do all right with the uh, lacrosse at college level? Oh, definitely. She'll do fine. Uh, I think it's awesome that she gets the opportunity to play two sports. I know she wasn't quite ready to choose. Um, so for her to have the opportunity to play both, I think will be helpful. Like she said, the transition going back and forth, it keeps you from getting stale in either one, I think she'll, she'll definitely be fine on the college level. All right, great. All right, Tori, so uh, how about we make this time uh, now for uh, your official signing? Okay. Okay, so we'll zoom in here on. Oh, great. All right, it begins with a T for Tori. Yeah. I know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and uh, that's it. She's signed, sealed, delivered to Long Island University, joining the Blackbirds, is that correct? Yes. Okay, and I think uh, Dr. McCauley would like to close us out here. Yes. Uh, just on behalf of the, uh, the Sterling High School Board of Education, Tori, we would like to congratulate you for uh, your outstanding accomplishments, and you're going to do us proud, and we wish you best of luck. Okay. And on behalf of the athletic program, uh, these are the types of student athletes that uh, we we aspire to develop here at Sterling High School, and as Tori had said, sometimes being a multi-sport athlete is something that is a, uh, a desire from uh, the college uh, 
you know, programs in the area, and, and obviously Long Island University is going to get a fine uh, example of what Sterling High School can produce. So uh, with that, um, again, once again, congratulations. We want to um, you know, wish you the best of luck uh, in your future endeavors, also with basketball season and lacrosse season. And uh, we want to wish everybody a nice day. And as always, go Knights. Exactly.